Okay. Hopefully I can do this one shot. Let's see. So a lot of people don't know what viruses are, especially with this coronavirus going around. Um, just for you guys to be informed. So, see, some people are visual learners, so I'm gonna try to draw very poorly what's going on. So, a virus is, they're not sure if it's living or not living, but it does have some DNA stuff in here or RNA stuff in here. This is a poorly drawn virus, okay? It is not the same as bacteria, which is living. There's different, a whole bunch of different bacteria and stuff like that, so they don't all look the same. And it's definitely not the same as a fungus. So, a fungus is what causes like athlete's foot. These are two bacteria and fungus is considered living. And virus is somewhere in between. Oh, spelled that wrong. Whatever. Anyways. <laughs> so virus is someplace in between. They're not sure if it's living or dead. I mean, th I guess the jury's out. So fungus is what causes things such as athlete's foot. Bacteria causes... Things such as strep throat and viruses cause things such as the common cold, things of that nature. So, with bacteria, it's bigger and so is funguses. Let's see if you guys can see it. Yeah, okay. So, that's the virus guy. So, bacteria and fungus is bigger than viruses. Viruses are super small. So, you only can see it under a microscope. So, when you get infected, when, you're, when your cells get, get infected with a bacteria or a fungus, your immune system, which is, you know, the guys that protect you from things that shouldn't be in there in your body, they'll fight it off. However, uh, we take medicines such as antibiotics for this or, um, I forgot what the things are called for, uh, fungus, anti-fungus, yeah, anti-fungus fungus creams, things like that. So, these two have things that can get rid of it or help your body get rid of it. For fungus, excuse me, for viruses... There isn't a lot of antivirus virus things. So your body usually has to fight it off by itself. Um, also, your body has to fight it off itself, right? So when you get infected with a virus, your body is, has to get, you know, all those white blood cells, everything it needs in order to to fight against it so when you get a common cold people say oh I need to get some medicine you know NyQuil uh, whatever cough medicine you get all that does is suppress the symptoms of a virus um, it does not get rid of the virus itself so it helps you feel better while your body is fighting off and defeating the virus so why is the coronavirus so serious? Um, so for people that are generally healthy in a certain age range, they could fight off viruses because their immune system is, is, you know, pretty good. But for people that are immune compromised or they're older, their immune system isn't strong enough to, to defend itself against viruses. So... That's why it's very important for people that are healthier to be mindful that, okay, you might be able to survive being attacked by this virus, but some, someone's grandmother or grandfather or someone that is HIV positive or has any type of immune deficiency 
um, you know, lupus, et cetera, et cetera. If they were to get in contact with this virus, they could be very, very sick and, you know, die. So be mindful of that, all right? Until next time, peace. Peace, guys. So this is a continuation from earlier for the viruses. So it's your little virus right here. It's a human cell and an infected human cell. So viruses are living and non-living at the same time. Like I said, the jury is still out about that. So viruses, all they want to do is live forever. <laughs> or not live forever. So what they do is they infect a host, something that is living, such as our human cells, and how it gets into it, it has these little, think of a lock and a key, right? So it has these little keys on its body, there we go. keys in their, on their body, and this little uh, key has to fit into the human cell lock. It might not be a perfect fit, but it fits just enough in order for it to be able to put its code, its DNA or its RNA, its blueprint inside the human cell and use all the human cells um, house or, or kitchen and create more versions of itself. So it'll, it'll get inside this human cell, it'll get inside the human cell, and then take over its body. And then what happens is it fills itself up, the virus fills itself up so much inside of the cell that the cell usually bursts open and the virus replicas come out. So there'll be tons of more virus cells. Again, guys, this is poorly drawn, but some people are visual, so you want to know what's happening with viruses, especially with everyone being concerned about the coronavirus. So the coronavirus, of course, is not a new virus, right? But this version of the virus is. So there we go. All the new replicated virus cells that are now out to find more human cells so that it can go and infect them and create more versions of itself. Why? Because it wants to live or not live forever. Um, you don't really know too much about viruses besides they make us sick. <laughs> it's pretty sucky, right? So, so here's those menacing uh, virus cells going to look for more human cells so it can infect them and be around for a very long time. It's very important that you guys wash your hands very important that you don't touch your face, things of that nature. Um, no one likes to be sick, so let's, let's prevent that. Now you guys have a better understanding of how it works and why it's important to be responsible and not get others sick. Like, you know, cover your mouth, don't sneeze. I mean, not don't sneeze, but cover your mouth when you sneeze and cough. All those good stuff, sanitize your hands. Hopefully, this will give you guys a, a very basic understanding of how viruses work, all right? Let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll try to answer as much as possible. Peace.